palatable for the well 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 dear class sitting at home well here's the thing okay first of all welcome back to teacher time second of all i have a live audience in here can you everybody say what what they're in here trust me and they're excited to be here i can tell they're all rived up so okay here's the thing please don't clap that was that's not the proper response so here's the thing today uh i'm going to show you guys how to make gifts uh like a moving file or like a flashing like think like this not just a steel poster and uh the thing is uh okay so they're the tiger tv mass media they're showing the football games online right they have requested that we make different versions of gifts that they could show on their on their tv show so during a game for instance they want there to be a graphic that says like touchdown 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 like that or field goal or safety or punt or um timeout anything like that right uh first down that's another one okay let me just show you i'm gonna do the share screen real quick and then uh okay here's the uh adobe photoshop so uh okay you don't want to leave it just like this you want it to like flash and say touchdown or something you know so the trick is you go to window and then all the way down to where it says timeline and it's alphabetized window timeline oh look at this don't do the the video timeline because we're not using video today we're just using words and such so you change it to frame animation again you just click on the little drop down frame animation and then we click it and so okay you see this number one right here number one it is what it is it looks like uh it looks like it looks like it looks like just uh, basically blank clean slate so on number two we'll put the word touchdown and i have two of these i have one that glows and one that doesn't at first i'm just using the one that does not glow so number one remember it has no word number two we just turn on the word touchdown we'll make a new one see the little new it's like a new layer button but in this is a new frame a new uh, gif frame so we'll click on that again and this time we will turn on the the one that does glow and then uh, for number four, we'll click again the new frame button. See our fourth one? So we've gone from uh, nothing to touchdown to glowing touchdown. Number four, we'll add a little bling to it. Bling! Like that right there. Tell you what, just because we can, let's move it to the uh, Auburn High School logo. Let me move it on top. And then uh, we'll rotate it just so it kind of lends itself to the, the shape of the A. Like that. Just because we can. Okay, so... We've gone from this to this to this to this, and I will go back again. So if I make a new frame again, this time I'll take off the bling, and then I'll make another new one, and I'll take off the glow. So we only have the one that does not glow. And then if I hit the new button again, I'll take off the word touchdown, and we're right back. We've come full circle. So like uh, if I hit play just to watch it, whoa, what? Look at the, this is a thing. Okay, it hit me that the we're drawing attention to the word touchdown, and then I take it away by putting it on the logo. I'm going to change that back just because I can. This is the good thing. These things are completely editable. So if you get one uh, and you are dissatisfied with one part of it, we just fix that part. So now, um, again, it'll do the same thing, but it keeps the attention on the word touchdown. It goes maybe too fast, right? So uh, do you see where it says zero seconds? There's no delay. I'm going to tell it to do uh, maybe one-tenth of a second. That's longer than you would think. If I want to do all of them the same, I'll just highlight them all by holding shift and then uh, tell it one second, or sorry, one-tenth of a second delay. And so now it goes a little slower. If I want one part to stay longer than the rest, I can click specifically just on this one, like the one at the peak, the one that has the glow and the bling on it. I'll tell this one lasts a full second. Again, it's, it's surprisingly long. So it quickly gets to the bling. Mm, blings don't stay put for that long. I'm, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to change this to be a one-tenth of a second. And I'm going to leave uh, just the standard normal one for one solid second. And uh, let's try that out see what it looks like. There we go. Uh, you can time it out however you'd like. I'm just going to keep it where they're all uniform again. They're all one-tenth of a second. 
So uh, when you save this kind of thing, you don't save it as a Photoshop file or as a JPEG. You can save it as a Photoshop file to have to edit later, but that's not gonna make it where it runs for someone else very easily. So you go to file and then go to export. Don't do save as this time. File, export, and then the one that says save for web right there. So I'm just gonna tell it, okay. And then uh, basically you, you, you follow the rabbit trail then. Just so you can see it once more, I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna hit cancel and uh, let's see here. Uh, well, just just trust me. It's file, export, and then we came here. Okay, so we'll go down to the save and then uh, tell it to save to the, the desktop. I'm just going to name it Touchdown. Again, they also want other ones too. They want the ones that say like first down and uh, penalty and uh, anything like that. So we saved it. As touchdown, I'll show you guys how to make sure it runs here in a second. Uh, okay, here's a new tab. Here's the file I just saved in the corner. If I drag it into the web browser, it should make it run. That's how to test it. Look at that. It does. It works. And this is what they want for the, uh, the Auburn High School mass media page. They want a running, working. Here, can you see behind me? Is this... Hmm. Um, can you see the, let's see if we can make it go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Well, and uh, for the projects, um, don't forget it, whether you're home or not, it, this year is what it is. Pretend like you're here. So uh, if you would have turned in multiple good projects here, which you should, that's what, that's what this class is. We're constantly making new good projects um do that at home too right so uh please uh don't don't get sucked into the um the thought that you know while you're doing school from home um that you're expected to do any less because that's not the case unless you're actually sick if you're sick rest up right but uh the projects be be it here at school or at home need to be good and 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 probably multiple ones okay that's all. Uh, the other option is uh, you can go to Schoology um, and you can see there's another option for taking a practice test. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Okay, my time's coming and gone. Y'all have a good one. I'll talk to you.